Well, hello, paddlers. You miss me. I ain't been out. I tell you what, it must be almost a month since I was last on the water. I hope this is in focus. I've just got in the end. Anyhow, I've just got to my launch site. I've been ill. I've had a problem. Right. Uh, yeah, and it's quite misty, dull, a bit damp and stuff. So I've got the dry suit gear on, obviously, and it's quite chilly out there. So I don't know how long I'll be on the water. But yeah, I don't think I've ever showed you my launch site. That's why I just thought I'd do a really quick intro just to turn the camera around, show you down there. It's quite a decent little launch site here. Not much on the way of parking, all right? There's uh, not a great deal of room, especially in summer when it's busy. But yeah, nice little launch site. All right, when the tide's out though, it's thick gravel and mud down there. It's a nightmare. All right, but yeah, so it's a dull miserable day i'm wrapped up warm right got my thermals on so uh let's get to paddling here we go then two hours later Thick mud. Uh, all good fun. Just trying to get the bloody thing turned round. Whereabouts is your land, mate? I don't want to run into you. Oh, there it is. I see it. I'll keep right over this side. Yeah. that just felt like a little bit of rain so at this point I'll take the opportunity to tell you about my new hat yeah got a new hat it's 100% waterproof so they say I don't think it would be if I dived in but it's 100% waterproof and the inside has got like a thermal layer which is great and I've got a waterproof torch on which I'll probably never use, but it's nice to know it's there. But there again, you see, it's November now. And I tell you what, for November, it's not its not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Right, like I said, OK, I've got all my winter gear on. I've got my thermals on. I've got my new little uh, vest on. Uh, if you're worried about wondering, it's just a fishing vest, right? It's not warm or out like that. It doesn't keep you warm. But... It's got loads and loads of pockets in, more pockets than I'll ever use, which means I can just have everything I need easy to get without that bag at the front, because that bag does get a bit clumsy, clumsy, clumsy in the road. 
But yeah, let's see, uh, it's about, I think it's the 15th or the 16th of November 2022 and I just felt something at the bottom of my boat. Fishes again, I hope. Uh, yeah, 2022. And I can't say it's that bad for this time of year. I mean, if I remember rightly, last November, it was, in fact, yeah, last November it was bloody freezing. I mean, freezing, freezing. You wouldn't have seen me on the water. Well, I hadn't even returned to paddling back then. I only got back into it again. I think it was June, June time I decided to get back in after a 20-year layoff. 20 years. Yeah, so... My hat, I've told you. My jacket, I've told you. So, oh, gloves. I need some proper winter gloves. That's something I don't have, which is funny. I've had four different pairs from Amazon. Don't buy winter gloves from Amazon. Now there's going to be people right. I got my winter gloves from Amazon for kayaking and they're great. Well, leave me a link to exactly which pair you've got. Because, let's see, first pair I got, yeah, they was cheap. They were 10 quid. I didn't expect much, but uh, there was a. It said anti-slip, and I couldn't. I couldn't hold anything. It was slippery as hell. They were warm, but it said anti-slip grip, and bloody hell, no chance. So I sent them back. I uh, got a refund. Ordered another pair, more expensive. I think this second pair was about twenty quid, and exactly the same problem. Sent them back. No, actually. Uh, I rang Amazon up and I said, look, I'm getting sick of this. Why are you letting people advertise as anti-slip when they're not? Right? And the woman actually refunded me and said, keep the gloves. You get me? But there's no good for this, but I did put them in a cupboard, that pair. I thought uh, I can use them maybe to make snowballs in winter. <laughs> but yeah, so then I ordered another pair of Amazon and they were no good. Right? So what I've done is uh, I've given up because the, the last pair I ordered of Amazon were 30 quid. They went straight back for a refund as well. So I give up and I've been looking around to get some. And I've looked at some kayaking shops. But to be honest, in the kayaking shops, I won't mention which shops because I've actually been in one of them. Right? That's not far from where I live. And they were actually selling the same gloves that I'd returned to Amazon. And they were selling them as anti-slip and waterproof. I was thinking, well, they're not waterproof and they're not anti-slip. So what I've been doing is I've got some thermal gloves on under here. And these are just wake sight gloves. You've probably seen them. I think it was £2.50. £2.50, which I, I use in my garage for when I'm doing joinery and stuff like that. Uh, just sight gloves. Two pound bloody fifty, and I got some thermal gloves on underneath from my motorbike days. My hands are lovely and warm, right, and got a great grip. Obviously, they're nowhere near waterproof. Right, my hand went in. If I dropped my paddle, and I'd be drenched. You get me? But just to keep my hands warm and have a paddle and make sure I don't drop anything, <laughs> they'll be fine. Right then, I'll let you enjoy a bit of the scenery, even though, oh, it's getting dull and everything's dying now. If you look back at some of the older videos along here, River Hull, if you look to, let me turn the camera, look to that side, them reeves, the greenness is gone and they're dying off. But, uh, yeah, that's what happens. Oh, by the way, I'm going to be doing a review so well not a review a q a video i'm going to keep it as short as i possibly can right because one somebody's asked me about my dry soap uh somewhat particularly about the gaskets all right i've answered him but I, I thought to myself these are like interesting questions and you never know somebody else might want to know so i'm putting a video together all right uh somebody uh asked me about my camera mount he, he, he said uh air on the water <laughs> Shout out. He said, I noticed it turns. How do you get it to turn and how you got the mounts? I told him. All right. But a couple of like interesting questions somebody else might want to know. And I, I was, well, I've been asked a couple more questions as well, basically. And a question about my paddle and which is the best paddle to buy. I know. I know. Which is the best paddle to buy. How many drops are in the ocean? Yeah, but anyhow, so I'll be doing a little Q&A. So I think that's enough from me for today. I might turn around later on and say goodbye. 
we'll see what happens let's just see if the sun comes out because it's trying i think that you see it's trying but we're just not there yet even brought me summer gloves with me just in case okay then paddlers let's get back to paddling I feel sorry for people when I see things like that. Boats cost a lot of money. And 
even old boats cost a lot of money. Or oh, buggers. And I don't know who they are, but I noticed that battery on the back, so they could be trying to charge, well, they're trying to charge up some up for some reason. Maybe got some type of, well, I'm guessing a pump. So probably charging up a pump or using the pump or something, I don't know. But I really hope they get it sorted, poor buggers. Paddlers. Um, about two and a half miles out from where I started from, and I'm starting. My wrists are starting to hurt. These gloves are as good as I said at the beginning. My hands are lovely and warm. All right, so I've got some thermal gloves on underneath them. All right, but the grip. These are rolled though. Actually, I've had these years. <laughs> All right, years. All right, the grip. Um, I'm they're not gripping as well as I'd hoped they're working but I'm starting to feel it on my wrist a bit because my hand's sliding a little bit and I'm having to make sort of like corrections all the time and I am starting to feel it after two and a half mile but uh, I'm in a nice little spot here I'm just <laughs> But no, they worked until I get my hands on some uh, proper good winter waterproof gloves with a great grip. So I just thought I'd jump in here and uh, mention that because I did say, do as I say. <laughs> well, it's not such a great idea, so I thought I'd warn you. Anyhow, I've had a nice little paddle. Like I said, uh, about two and a half mile out, so it'll be two and a half mile back. So I'm just going to turn round now and just take a steady, steady float back. I don't want to be pushing it, like I said, my wrist is starting to hurt. Right, one more thing as well. <laughs> I could do with a suggestion. Obviously, I've got my dry suit on. And if you don't know, at the bottom of your dry suit, it's sort of like, seal. it's like putting, I don't know, a pair of socks on my feet. Everything sealed, your feet sealed in. So inside that, I've got thermal socks on and then I've obviously got my shoes on, the yeah, water shoes. I've uh, got thermal trousers on, I've got a shirt on underneath my dry suit. I am lovely and warm, in fact it's gorgeous by the time of year, but my feet are cold. My feet are bloody cold, I've got thermal socks on right? and inside my dry suit as well and my feet are cold. So, you got any suggestions? I could do with a suggestion because that's actually yeah putting me off. My feet getting so cold is putting me off. That's the problem with a, a sitting kayak. The kayak is under the water, so my feet are actually under the water inside the kayak. So they're basically surrounded by icy cold water coming up through the boat and into my feet. All right. I'm glad my ass is lifted off the floor. My ass would be getting cold. <laughs> but uh, yeah, whereas a, a sit on kayak on top of the water and you're sat on top, uh, you, you got less cold transfer. But yeah, so I, I'm gonna have to come up with an idea for my feet for next time because me, I'm, I'm great. 
my legs are warm, my arms, my, everything's warm. Even, okay, the sun is just starting to try and break through, but believe me, it, it's chilly out here. I can feel it on my face. It is, it is cold. And I know that water's cold, cold, because I, I took my glove off, all right? And I was just reaching, uh, well, it turned out to be a stick. It, it looked like some keys on a thob bouncing you know what I mean I thought so so I reached in I took my glove off because I knew it wasn't waterproof but it turned out just to be a stick but anyhow yeah and I felt the water and it is cold <laughs> so I'm glad I'm wearing a dry so hopefully it won't make any difference in other words I'm not going in I mean let's be honest the chances of you falling in are pretty slim if you're just paddling on a river you know what I mean it's only when you start doing stupid things and We've been through that before in the past. You see them ducks? How annoying that is. Of course you saw them ducks. I've showed you. I put my camera on slow motion. Thinking if them ducks take off or sum up. It'll look really good on slow motion. And you saw basically I passed. And they basically looked at me and said get stuffed. I'm not doing anything for you. About 200 feet down. I turned round and I looked back at the ducks. Right, And there was in the middle of the river and they were flapping about like mad and they were jumping and hopping and skipping and one of them was playing basketball and everything it looked great on <laughs> okay not basketball it was actually playing snooker no it looked great and i thought you prats you waited until i got past you but yes yeah, so <laughs> i'm starting to lose it again paddlers right so i'm gonna uh leave it there and uh, say so thanks for watching and hopefully you'll get uh, to see more of me now that uh, I'm feeling better don't bother asking I'm not gonna tell you I haven't been very well and that's all I'll say yeah no not Covid before anyone asks yeah so I have missed it I'll tell you what it's been nearly a month since I've been on the water and you can tell it it just felt weird even getting into the boat felt weird. Uh, I think I caught that on camera. But uh, yeah, you sort of, you miss it. Yeah, your body misses the, the feel, the muscle memory. It's like I fly remote controlled aeroplanes, right? And you don't look at the sticks at what you're doing. Right? Your brain has muscle memory and as you fly and you're looking at your plane and you know what you're doing. But if you haven't flown for a long time, I once went 12 months without flying a plane. Right? And then you take and it, you, you forget what your brain forgets what to do. And even after just a month, right, of not being on the water, it it's like getting that rhythm again and finding yourself. I know back in I think it was June when I came back to kayaking after like 20 years. God, that felt weird. That felt really strange. But at the same time, the old uh, duck to water thing, it felt natural being back on the water, just relaxing again. You get me? Just like now, just sitting. I nearly put my hands in the water then. That would have been a mistake because I know these aren't waterproof. Just sitting and relaxing and just... It's, it's something I missed and uh, I can't remember for the life of me yeah I can I was just sat right, outside my house and I was sat in a chair and I had my legs up and I was sort of like in this position and I thought I feel like I'm in a kayak and I thought why did I why? well I know why I stopped kayaking but that's another story but I thought yeah I have to get back into this again you get me and i even asked a couple of lads uh nick and mike you've heard me mention them a million times before uh, i said where do you launch from and stuff like that i said i haven't been out for years and years and you know what i mean and it was helpful and i often see them nick's the one that gave me that tour on his uh motorboat toured me by the rope and i'm holding it. <laughs> that was a funny one and uh mike <laughs> He ain't got a motorboat, but he's just as funny. He's got, I can never remember his channel. He, he goes to these, uh, well, Nick and Mike do, they go to these like places that are supposed to be haunted and they have all this machinery to test if how it's going on and stuff like that. Tell you what, Mike, if you watch this, I've got a video to show you that was caught on my CCTV camera in my garden. The strangest thing, right? 
it was either the strangest glitch right or a ghost was in my garden it was just so so weird what's captured on my cctv camera i will have to show you it one day buddy i've actually downloaded it and put it on my phone just in case i ever bump into you mate right uh like i said i'm gonna just have a float about and then head back so i'll leave you with a bit more footage as i'm paddling back and i'm also worried about it starting to chuck it down even though i'm covered up but it's not much for, don't mind if it's spitting but it's not much fun if it's pouring down and i i haven't got my skirt with me i should have put my skirt on all right and if you don't if you if you're new to car if you've never done kayaking you just come across this i don't mean a skirt like a lady wears all right it's a kayak skirt that goes across the cockpit here to stop water from getting in okay i'm not a cross dresser well, maybe the every other Sunday, but that, that's it. That's another story. Anyhow, paddlers, I've waffled enough. I know I do it a lot, and uh, I'll catch you next time. And like I say, I've got a little Q and A coming up. Okay then, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, November 2022, and it's lovely. Okay, it's not gorgeous hot summer i'm well protected but it, for the time of year you can't knock it really especially in england this is the uk you'd expect it to be minus frigging 50 snow falling and uh frozen lakes everywhere <laughs> anyhow then uh, paddlers and rap fans uh, if you like this video give us a thumbs up if you really like this video as i always say you know what to do subscribe so you don't miss the next one okay then thanks for watching and uh yeah cheers one race I'm not going to win. <laughs> right then paddlers, a little bit of excitement and I'll catch you on the water next time. I know I said I won't coming back but just something different to look at there won't it? First time on this river I have seen a big boat actually moving. You get me, very first time, never seen one before just paddling along and I hear this horn and for a second I thought there's a road just there just behind them reeves there's a road and I was thinking it's a car bibbing its horn and then I heard it again so I turned and looked behind me and you already know the rest okay then paddlers uh, hope you enjoyed this video I'll bugger off now thanks for watching I'll leave it there and cheers go catch that boat up <laughs> yeah right <laughs> He's, he's gone. Just about.
Ah, right. <laughs> when I first heard you roar, I was thinking it was a car. Because you were horns on cars going by all the time. Cheers, mate. to see actually in case you don't know there's a badge there all right and what happens is the badge lowers in the water it lifts lowers it back down all right and you take your boat straight into it and then it lifts your boat up out of the water for cleaning repairing or whatever but unfortunately I right, even if I'd have stuck around to see it once you just see the boat go in and once it's lifted its back up all the magic that happens you won't see you get me unless you was on the shore all right looking down so there's no point in me going back just to capture it all right because you just see the boat going in which might be a bit of interest all right but then as soon as that back door goes up that's it plus i could go sit there for half an hour before it even open the door they have to wait for the water levels to balance out the barge basically jettisons the water so the boat so it's that a bit like how uh, a lock gate works okay but yeah so now i'll definitely definitely all right for the third time so i'll catch you later paddlers hope you enjoyed this video first time out in ages and a little bit of excitement Okay then, catch you later. Cheers. Stop recording. <laughs>